Well said, and we certainly echo our appreciation for all the veterans today. The Georgia Bulldogs, number one, still cruising to the SEC championship game, though they'll make a pit stop in Knoxville over the weekend to face the Vols. The Georgia D, yep, they're good. The defense has yet to give up more than 13 points in a single game this season. In fact, that defense has gotten off to historic start. The Bulldogs, the first team to hold their first nine opponents to 13 points or fewer since the national championship winning 1992 Alabama Crimson Tide. They've also allowed just 59 points all season long, the fewest by any team through the first nine games of a season since 93 Florida State, who also won the title. So when you put it like that, Roddy, it's like saying, well, you know what? Of course, there's not a problem. They're going to steamroll through Knoxville, but you never know. And there has been one thing, I think, that has stood out to you anyway when it comes to that Georgia offense. Yeah, Wendy, it's the fact that this Georgia offense the last four games has gotten off to some pretty slow starts. You look at the Auburn game. They're held to three points in the first quarter. They didn't score in the first quarter against Florida or Kentucky and only seven points in the first quarter against Missouri. So if Tennessee can jump out to a lead early and make Georgia play from behind, that's something that we haven't seen all season. And look, Stetson Bennett has done a really nice job doing what they've asked him to do, but he's only thrown for more than 200. 255 yards one time this year and it was week two against UAB this is a Tennessee defense that's total numbers aren't great but when you look at a per play basis they're a top five defense in the SEC in terms of yards per play so it's a pretty stingy group that just plays a ton of plays because of the tempo they go with on offense so if if Tennessee can jump out this Georgia offense has gotten off to slow starts what would happen if Georgia had to play from behind I think that's a big question that we haven't yet seen answered this season and Roddy, and another thing that we haven't seen about Georgia is how their secondary will perform against a truly high-level passing attack. And Tennessee will be their greatest test of the season so far. Part of that is because of the way Tennessee buries tempo. This is just an ordinary play right here. But then instead of going 20 seconds, 25 before the next snap, look at the clock on the lower left. In about 12 seconds, they'll be ready to snap the ball. That's a quick snap. It's different from the rhythm Kentucky had gotten used to. And when that happens, they're not ready. Take a look at this safety now. He's uh, trying to get everybody's attention. That, that's pretty impressive right there. You'd think that would be enough, but it's not. <laughs> and so they're not ready to, to stop what Tennessee is going with. And Hendon Hooker finds the open receiver. Okay, so you might say that's Kentucky. That's a pretty good defense. What about a very good defense? All right, well, how about Alabama this year? Same kind of thing. Here's an ordinary play. They had been lulling Alabama into a rhythm about 20, 25 seconds for the snap. Clock on the lower left once again. In less than 11 seconds, they're ready to go. Now, Bama has all eyes front. Well, almost all eyes front. This guy is still looking at the sideline, thinking he has plenty of time to get confirmation on what he's supposed to be doing. And then, oh, no, ow! And you know that right now, running down the field, he's knowing what Saban is going to say to him in just a minute. Now, Tennessee doesn't need this kind of variation of tempo for their passing attack to work. Hooker and his receivers are performing at a high level. But it adds another layer to this test of Georgia, and we'll learn a lot more about them after this game. And if I can say one thing, we know chaos has reigned so far. There is absolutely no reason it can't continue. I'm not saying it will, but it has certainly been a trend this season. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.